morning YouTube. I'm gonna show you a an axle I made for uh, to move these cars around. Now this is if you remove your K member. It's the only way you can bolt it on pretty much. I guess you could just remove a bolt out of the K member in the rear and feed a bolt through it and you know leave it on there with the K member. But if you don't have no wheels or suspension on the front of it, this is what I found the best way to do it. And I thought about it for a while. But uh, I'm gonna show you what I did. The video where I put it in, installed it and everything. And then I'm gonna show you at the end of the video, the pieces. All right, so I got some old square tubing. But what I'm gonna do is center it up and drill my holes through there so I can bolt this to there. Now this is if you don't have a front cross member. And I bought this kit where I could weld in these spindles and hubs. Well, obviously not weld the hubs in, but weld the spindles in. And what I'll do is I'm just gonna build an axle that I can bolt to it and I can pick it up from the back with the tractor and I can go set this wherever I wanna set it. So that's the plan for this right now. Uh, and I need to move this car actually. I gotta pull that Capri up here and uh, start getting some stuff off it. And then I gotta move a few other things around too. So <clears throat> this is what we're doing. All right, so here's where we're at. <clears throat> now, I put these bolts, I drilled this. This is just in there. So I can actually remove this. And it's honestly easier for transport. Like if I go get something. Now, like I said, <clears throat> I drilled these this uh, tubing for that and I couldn't get a nut in that obviously because it's sitting on tire. Those are 28 inches apart, center to center. Just measured, you know, center of the beam, 14 inches each side. I drilled half inch holes. I'm using 7 16 bolts. Uh, and honestly, I could stand to have some washers on them. But I'm, I'm just gonna move this car and I'm gonna block it up and uh, remove this axle. Now, I've already got this one on. So whenever I get done, <clears throat> All I really got to do is just take this bolt out and slide this whole wheel assembly out. But the reality of it is I'm probably going to keep these hubs inside. I'm probably going to keep this piece of two inch square tubing inside. <clears throat> um, but yeah, the best thing about this is, is um, I honestly thought about welding those bolts to the beam. That way I could just put it together and roll it up under there and set it down on it. But uh, I decided not to do that. Um, and honestly, I could probably still do that. But uh, that's also a reason I got these where you take them apart. You know, the car might be too low to get the wheels on it. You can slide this under there, bolt it up, put your jack under it, raise the car up. And then you can slide your spindles in there and be done with it. Now that, that little kit was 90 bucks for the spindles, the hub, and the bearing kit. Now, wheels are different. I, I took these off another little trailer I had. These are just little 13 inch tires and wheels uh, I got from Tractor Supply. But other than that, um, this is gonna work out as, as good. All right, I got her together. That's how it's gonna be. And I'll just walk around with a bucket and a chain pick up on the back of the car, throw my blocks, probably inside, cause they'll probably go with the car wherever I set it. And then uh, I'll probably set it on the back blocks, then hook to the front, raise it up, slide a couple more blocks under that, remove my axle, throw it in the bucket, go get another car. All right, so here is uh, the axle in the video. And there's my two bolts that go through the frame now due to my stellar precision drilling this has now become you have a right and a left axle because i didn't drill in the same but you just now what i did here i used a small piece of tubing to match my spindle and i did weld a piece of quarter inch or three sixteenths on the side of it to take up some of the slack just slide it in place here 
all lined up. I just got some uh, 716 grade 8 volts. Put it through there. And I just put a nut, you know, hand tied on this because I'm not going down the road at all. This is just around here. Or you can take this with you if you choose to. Uh, you can take this with you if you choose to uh, go get a car, or get it out of a field, or get it close to your trailer or whatever. Uh, this this axle's too wide to pull it up on a standard trailer, so you'd have to have a wider trailer car hauler to. Uh, to put this on here because this is probably as wide as a dually but it, it works for what i need to do to move it around here um but essentially that's 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 how it is that's how it is you know nothing nothing spectacular at all just you know some tack welds like i said it's not going to be under no strain for what i'm using it for Obviously, you can modify this design however you need to to make it work for you. But that's it. I was going to put this up, so I just want to show you guys. And it worked. It worked great. Hope you enjoyed the video. For you, for those of you that have questions as to why did I just not make it one axle, I could have easily. And honestly, I may make one that's a little bit different that will bolt up to the frame rails if the k member is gone but anyway and honestly and i've said this before i have no plans on getting any more of these cars i'm actually kind of over them um i just want to fix what i want to fix and sell what i don't want to fix um but the reason for this is about everything i do around here i do it by myself no one you know so this is in pieces so it's easier for me to manage i can easily assemble this all together by myself versus trying to hold a complete axle underneath the car and bolt it together at the same time so the easier i can make my life the better and that's exactly why i made this the way i have so i'm passing it on to you it's just an idea i had it worked great so hopefully it can work great for you Peace.